Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here with the Rogue Lacquer Black Friday sale details and swatches of all the new polishes that will be available. There are a lot of specifics, so I'm going to just include them down in the description, but the sale does start on the 23rd, which is Thursday, and I'll include the specific time in the description as well. There are discounts and promotions that are only happening for the first 24 hours of the sale, and some things are limited quantity, specifically the $6 doorbuster. So shop early if you wanna make sure you get everything. And there are two new collections, plus I have swatches of the doorbuster and a gift with purchase, which you will be able to pick up if you spend more than $25. And um, also the sale is like for a limited time. So I will include all of that down in the description and let's get into the swatches. Let's start off by looking at the Prisms After Dark collection. So the Prisms After Dark collection is going to be $12 individually and $44 for the full set and 15% off for the first 24 hours only. This polish is called Little Red Dress and it's a ruby red metallic prism finish with hollow flakes. And if you're familiar with the prism concept from Rogue Lacquer, you'll know that it features a shimmery, sometimes metallic-y base and then hollow flakes. And my bottle of this actually arrived with a crack in it and I was able to rescue it, which was nothing short of a nail polish miracle. So this polish I absolutely love and it's a beautiful shade of red super festive, very Christmassy, and I really like the shimmer in it as well as the hollow. This I thought was really good in two coats. I will recommend a glossy top coat, and for my swatches I am using Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat, which is my favorite. You probably already know that. This is how it looks on the full hand. Apologies, my chair is extremely creaky. It's just got a really pretty glow to it. I wouldn't say this is overly shifty, but the shimmer in it adds a beautiful dimension and just gives it a stunning depth, which makes it a very fiery, bright primary red. Next up is Night Bright, and this one is a dark teal metallic prism finish with hollow flakes and this one really excited me I don't know why I think I just love anything with a black base and this to me is just a beautiful wintry midnight New Year's Eve kind of polish I will note that this one could have the potential to stain so do use a good base coat or two coats of base coat if you're really prone to staining like I am. It does build up beautifully in two coats. It is super opaque and I will recommend a glossy top coat because it does dry down just a tiny bit dull. I just love hollow flakes and I think that they're so pretty in these prism polishes. This one has a pretty unique and beautiful kind of glow to it. So again, it doesn't really change colors per se, but that teal shimmer just adds a beautiful depth and it looks like, like an Aurora Borealis or something. I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty. Moving along, we have Enchantment, which is a indigo metallic prism finish with hollow flakes. This is a really close cousin or maybe sibling to Night Bright. It's got an indigo shimmer in the black base, and this one also might cause some staining just based on my experience using it for a few minutes while swatching. So definitely use a base coat if you are prone to staining or just don't want to risk it. And what I love so much about the last polish in this one is how even though they've got a black deep base, 
the hollow flakes stand out beautifully and just create such a gorgeous twinkling effect. This would be a perfect Midnight's Manny for anyone who's a Taylor Swift fan. That's kind of what it made me think of. So again, this is great in two coats. It does dry down a little bit dull, so use top coat to bring back the shine. And here you can see what I mean about those beautiful flakes. They just pop out beautifully and add a little kiss of rainbows to the dark, enchanted night sky. And rounding out the Prisms After Dark collection is Twilight. Twilight is a creamy antique gold metallic prism finish with hollow flakes. So if you have a skin tone similar to mine, this one is a really pretty kind of nude shade. It reminds me of a vintage camel coat, like a wool camel coat. And it has just a pretty kind of gold shimmer to it. This one is loaded with hollow flakes, so there's a ton in there, and you could get away with two, but I think most people will like this best built up in three, which is what I am going to show you. And since we're talking about gold, I just spent the last two hours talking myself out of buying 14 karat solid gold tooth earrings from Catbird. That's part of their collab with Boy Genius. It was going to cost $500 Canadian with shipping. So I figured a pair of earrings wasn't worth that, but they're so beautiful. So now I'll just have this nail polish to console me, sort of. <laughs> so here it is in three coats plus top coat. It's very golden, very pretty. And I had a tiny, tiny bit of sun to show off the sparkle, but it really looks good under any lighting. It's like a perfect silver and gold mani if anyone's into silver and gold for Christmas. Maybe that's your theme, but it's a really pretty golden polish. Moving along, we're going to look at the Merry and Bright collection. So this will also be $12 individually or $44 for the full set with a discount of 15% for the first 24 hours of the sale only. This one's called All I Want for Christmas and it is a cool blue crelly with purple, blue, green, glass, and black flakes. This one has a very nice ponding jelly effect with the base color opacity. It's very squishy and there's a ton of flakes in here. I personally think it looks good in two because I sort of want that intentional pond look. I don't want to completely obliterate the squishiness of it by putting on too many coats. It does have a textured finish because of the black flakes mostly, but one layer of Cuticula Limitless Top Coat did smooth it out. You can already see just how pretty those flakes are. I really like this one. I just love the glass flakes that Rogue Lacquer uses. They do them so well. And this is a really pretty base color too. It's not a conventional Christmas blue. So I think it is beautiful. It'd be pretty for Hanukkah as well. Next up we have Candy Ribbon and, sorry, Ribbon Candy. This one is an orange, gold, pink, and green glass with black flake polish in a clear base. So this one would be beautiful as a topper, but it's meant to be built up on its own, which is what I'm going to do. So when working with these flake bombs from Rogue Lacquer, I recommend thin coats and I recommend patience. You want to build these up in two to three coats and you want to sort of dab in any polish and flake on areas that might not have been covered. So watch my technique. That is the best way to describe is to just show. 
So as you can see, the second coat pretty much covered everything, but on my index finger towards my free edge, you'll notice that it's not fully covered. So I'm going in with a third coat over everything, but then I'm going to focus on the tip of my nail and try to cover up anything that didn't get covered with some more flakes kind of dabbed on. So here I am going back in, doing what I said, dabbing on at the tip to cover up bald spots. And this does have texture, but it won't be too thirsty. It'll be completely smooth with one layer of glossy top coat like Cuticula Limitless and be generous with your top coat. It won't be overly difficult to remove, not like a glitter, but you might get some flakes stuck in your cuticle. And this polish is beautiful in direct light, but honestly, these glass flakes look best out of direct light, as you're going to see shortly. This one has such a vintage Christmas vibe to it. I just love it. So that's what I mean. Like, look how cool that looks in the shadows. It just looks amazing to me. Next up is Twinkle All The Way, which is another gorgeous flake bomb. It's described as a metallic silver and black flake polish with blue-green glass flakes. So this one, again, could work as a topper if you wanted, but I absolutely love it built up on its own. I actually like these polishes on their own, not built up. Like, I would wear it that way, or maybe put a Cirque jelly underneath. I think that would be super pretty, but if you're going the opacity route, then once again, you want to be patient, build it up in two to three coats, and also let the coats dry for like two or three minutes before you go in again with another coat, just to make sure things don't start migrating around. So on this third coat, that's when I'm going to pay a little more attention to areas that might have been missed with the first two. And so you can see here that I'm mostly just focusing on one side of my nail because that's where some bare spots were left. So I covered those up. And again, you want to be a little generous with your top coat. It's not going to be thirsty like a glitter but definitely benefits from a thick, generous layer of top coat. And here it is. This is a really, really frosty, icy polish. I absolutely love, again, how it looks out of direct lighting. This is like Jack Frost nail polish. I absolutely adore this one. And I'm definitely going to try it out with some layering options. I think that it would look amazing with a Cirque Jelly. So next up we have Getting Figgy With It. Excuse me, Getting Figgy With It. And this is a boysenberry crelly with gold and copper glass and black flakes. I am always a sucker for boysenberry shades. I think they look good on me, so that's my personal bias. But what I love about this one especially is the addition of the gold glass flake or copper, gold and copper. I think it's so beautiful. It's like not in your face holiday, but it works beautifully. So this has a really good formula. I found it had full coverage in two coats. No issues with staining with this one. It won't be too difficult to remove. The flakes might require a little bit of scrubbing or got stuck in your cuticle, but honestly, I'm splitting hairs. This will also benefit from top coat. You can see it's pretty textured from the flakes, but one layer of thick, glossy top coat should smooth everything out. It does for me, and um, you'll be good to go. Here it is. 
I don't know if I've ever actually had figgy pudding, but this polish is a really pretty tribute to something that I know is very controversial. So again, not a ton of shifts in this one. It's sort of, it is what it is, but it looks so good. And I definitely want to wear this again. And now we're moving into the really fun stuff. This is the Doorbuster. So the Doorbuster is going to be $6 for the first 12 hours or while supplies last. And if there's any left, it'll go back up to $12. And this polish, people are going to lose their minds. Like I told Rachel that the minute I saw it, I swatched it. I said, people will lose it for this polish. It is glowy AF as it's called. It has a beautiful formula. It's opaque in two coats. There's no brush strokes. They dry down, they smooth out. And between the beautiful base color and that glowy blue shimmer, it's jaw dropping. It's described as a pale creamy purple base with glowy purple shimmer. The shimmer looks purplier or more blue depending on the lighting. I thought it was blue, but I guess it's purple. So this will benefit from a top coat just to make it super glossy AF. And here it is. And now you can just see how pretty this is. It's freaking out my camera a little bit. Like that blue, purple shimmer, whatever it is, is intense. It's super pretty. I love that base color. It is a favorite shade of mine and I just love it. And now we have the Black Friday gift with purchase. So this one is called Who Doesn't Love Presents? It's a metallic plum with soft scattered hollow sparkle. And you get this when you spend $25 or more before shipping. This is also time limited. So I'll have the details in the description, but I'm pretty sure it's only a gift with purchase from the 23rd to the 27th. As you can see, this has a beautiful formula. It builds up very nicely in two coats, no issues with staining, and the hollow in here is subtle, but very pretty. This is a really, just really pretty polish. It's not overdone or in your face, and I just really, really love it. It does dry down dull, so definitely use a glossy top coat to bring out the hollow sparkle. And um, honestly, it's not going to be difficult to spend $25 on the Rogue Lacquer website this Black Friday because everything is stunning and you should just spend the $25 to get this polish that's like so pretty. So here it is. This isn't overly shifty and I didn't show off the hollow sparkle very well because there wasn't really bright sun, but it is there. It's very pretty. It's a little on the subtle side. I absolutely love it, and I just think it's a really pretty shade of purple. Lastly, I just wanted to show off this Nail Elixir cuticle oil pen that Rachel sent in my package. It is scented in PSL, which is pumpkin spice latte, and I love that scent. It is a beautiful version of that scent. Sometimes it's kind of cloying and gross, but this isn't. It's a twist up pen with the little brush, which makes it really easy to apply and hydrate and make your cuticles happy. It's got jojoba oil. It's got lots of nice ingredients in it. So throw one in your cart if you need to get to $25 to get the free gift with purchase. I'll address the elephant in the room, which is the Doorbuster Glowy AF. For $6, like, unless there's a reason you can't shop the sale in the first 24 hours, you should be able to, and then you can pick it up for $6. It's so pretty, and you won't want to miss it. And my two favorites from the new polishes are Ribbon Candy, because I just love the glass flakes. I love how vintagey it looks. I'm very into 
like vintage mid-century modern Christmas aesthetic. I always have been, but this year I'm just like super into it. And that polish to me is very that. And I also love Twinkle All The Way. Not only is it a very cute name, but it's also so pretty and glowy and wintry and frosty. So I can't recommend it enough. That's it for me and the Rogue Lacquer Black Friday releases. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and um, I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye.